Welcome to the 2018 English Paper 1 of Aga Khan University Examination Board SSC Part 2 Examination. We will begin the paper with a 25 minute listening comprehension section. You will hear recording of two passages. Each passage will be played two times. On each passage you will answer questions written on your paper 1 booklet. Listen carefully to the first playing then open paper 1 booklet and read questions 1 to 6. You will get 2 minutes for reading. The passage will be played one more time. You can make notes on your question paper. When the passage has finished, enter your answers on the separate answer sheet provided to you. You will have 3 and a half minutes to pencil in your answers. Follow the instructions on the front page of paper 1 to show which of the options A, B, C or D you have selected for each question. Do not turn over the page until you are told. Now, please listen to the passage. How one family inspired a football revolution in Pakistan. Shimshal is a small village in one of the northernmost parts of Pakistan, the highest settlement in the Hunza Valley at 3,800 meters above sea level. A short distance from China's most western border. It has a population of about 2000 inhabitants. City life is a world away. Dusty Shimshal is a 16 hour drive from Islamabad and 20 hour drive from Lahore. It is not the sort of place where one would expect to find an appetite for women's football. Yet, girls are queuing up to take part. Karishma Inayat and her family are from Shimshal and though they have left the village for Lahore they have maintained a strong affinity with the area and its residents My father used to work in Lahore he brought me and my family to the city so we could continue our studies and get educated says Karishma My mother was a nurse but she left her job so that we could move My father started bringing children from Shimshal to Lahore so that they could study and get an education. He brought 5 or 6 children initially and eventually that number started to increase as people wanted their children to study in Lahore. My father brought those people who could not afford the fees to study. Karishma started playing football in 2012 except it was not her first choice I was not that interested in football I was more interested in cricket but in Pakistan girls do not have much opportunity to get to a good level so my father took me and my two sisters to a football ground she says Her father told them that If they worked hard they could represent their country one day So work hard they did We played for two or three clubs before joining a national level club We played so many national level games for them and then in 2016 my sisters and I went to Dubai to represent Pakistan in the Jubilee games While she and her sisters were competing in Dubai, Karishma's brother had returned to Shimshal. Clearly influenced by his father, he had the idea of bringing football to girls in the village. Joined by a cousin and with a small amount of money for equipment, he ran a tournament in 2016. It was a great event and around 70 girls participated. so we thought that we could create a proper platform where girls can come and get to know how to play football and get involved says karishma read questions 1 to 6 you have 2 minutes time for reading
Listen to the passage again. While listening, you may keep the question booklet open in front of you. How one family inspired a football revolution in Pakistan. Shimshal is a small village in one of the northernmost parts of Pakistan, the highest settlement in the Hunza Valley at 3,800 meters above sea level. A short distance from China's most western border, it has a population of about 2,000 inhabitants. City life is a world away. Dusty Shimshal is a 16-hour drive from Islamabad. and 20 hour drive from lahore it is not the sort of place where one would expect to find an appetite for women's football yet girls are queuing up to take part karishma inayat and her family are from shimshal and though they have left the village for lahore they have maintained a strong affinity with the area and its residents my father used to work in lahore He brought me and my family to the city so we could continue our studies and get educated says Karishma My mother was a nurse but she left her job so that we could move My father started bringing children from Shimshal to Lahore so that they could study and get an education He brought 5 or 6 children initially and eventually that number started to increase as people wanted their children to study in lahore my father brought those people who could not afford the fees to study karishma started playing football in 2012 except it was not her first choice i was not that interested in football i was more interested in cricket But in Pakistan girls do not have much opportunity to get to a good level so my father took me and my two sisters to a football ground she says Her father told them that if they worked hard they could represent their country one day So work hard they did We played for two or three clubs before joining a national level club We played so many national level games for them and then in 2016 my sisters and I went to Dubai to represent Pakistan in the Jubilee Games While she and her sisters were competing in Dubai Karishma's brother had returned to Shimshal Clearly influenced by his father he had the idea of bringing football to girls in the village Joined by a cousin and with a small amount of money for equipment he ran a tournament in 2016 it was a great event and around 70 girls participated so we thought that we could create a proper platform where girls can come and get to know how to play football and get involved says karishma now record the answers to the questions in the multiple choice answer sheet You will have three and a half minutes to record your answer.
Now we will play another passage. This will also be played two times. How we make memories. Think back to a really vivid memory. Got it? Okay. Now try to remember what you had for lunch three weeks ago. That second memory probably is not as strong. But why not? Why do we remember some things and not others? And why do memories eventually fade? Let's look at how memories form in the first place. When you experience something, like dialing a phone number, the experience is converted into a pulse of electrical energy that zips along a network of neurons. Information first lands in short-term memory, where it is available anywhere from a few seconds to a couple of minutes. It is then transferred to long-term memory through areas such as the hippocampus and finally to several storage regions across the brain. Neurons throughout the brain communicate at dedicated sites called synapses using specialized neurotransmitters. If two neurons communicate repeatedly, a remarkable thing happens. The efficiency of communication between them increases. This process is considered to be a mechanism by which memories are stored long term. But how do some memories get lost? Age is one factor. As we get older, synapses begin to falter and weaken affecting how easily we can retrieve memories. Scientists have several theories about what is behind this deterioration, from actual brain shrinkage to the hippocampus losing 5% of its neurons every decade. These changes seem to affect how people retrieve stored information. Age also affects our memory-making abilities. Memories are encoded most strongly when we are paying attention, when we are deeply engaged, and when information is meaningful to us. Another leading cause of memory problems is chronic stress. Depression is another culprit. People who are depressed are 40% more likely to develop memory problems. Experts believe that social interaction gives our brain a mental workout. Just like muscle strength, we have to use our brain or risk losing it. Now read questions 7 to 12. You will have two minutes time for reading. Do not turn over the page until you are told.
Listen to the passage again. While listening, you may keep the questions booklet open in front of you. How we make memories Think back to a really vivid memory. Got it? Okay. Now try to remember what you had for lunch three weeks ago. That second memory probably is not as strong. But why not? Why do we remember some things and not others? And why do memories eventually fade? Let's look at how memories form in the first place. When you experience something, like dialing a phone number, the experience is converted into a pulse of electrical energy that zips along a network of neurons. Information first lands in short-term memory, where it is available anywhere from a few seconds to a couple of minutes. It is then transferred to long-term memory through areas such as the hippocampus and finally to several storage regions across the brain. Neurons throughout the brain communicate at dedicated sites called synapses using specialized neurotransmitters. If two neurons communicate repeatedly, a remarkable thing happens. The efficiency of communication between them increases. This process is considered to be a mechanism by which memories are stored long term. But how do some memories get lost? Age is one factor. As we get older, synapses begin to falter and weaken, affecting how easily we can retrieve memories. Scientists have several theories about what is behind this deterioration. From actual brain shrinkage to the hippocampus, losing 5% of its neurons every decade. These changes seem to affect how people retrieve stored information. Age also affects our memory-making abilities. Memories are encoded most strongly when we are paying attention, when we are deeply engaged, and when information is meaningful to us. Another leading cause of memory problems is chronic stress. Depression is another culprit. People who are depressed are 40% more likely to develop memory problems. Experts believe that social interaction gives our brain a mental workout. Just like muscle strength, we have to use our brain or risk losing it. Now record the answers to the questions in the multiple choice answer sheet. You will have three and a half minutes to record your answers.
you should now go on to the next section of paper 1 which is reading comprehension you will have 25 minutes for that section thank you and good luck